Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Time back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be doing new flash glitch Chris Stapp's poor Zingus gameplay. I can't wait to share the court with you and the legendary Sir Dirk. Shout out to my guy Blazion for letting me hop on his account to make this gameplay possible. Massive, massive shout out to my guy. If you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 70,000 subscribers. So looking at Chris Stapps here, obviously you guys know as well as I do, you can get him out of these new Flash 9 packs uh, with Paul George, James Harden, Invincible Card, as well as Wiseman and JB to kind of highlight things. KP obviously is 7'3". You can't take that away from the card. No matter what you think of Chris Stapps, the fact that he's 7'3 is something that is very, very valuable. 96 three ball, 90 driving dunk, 986 ball handle, 97 block, 93 steal, 93 perimeter as well as a 98 interior great rebounding stats at 98 90 speed 89 speed ball, 90 acceleration as well as at 93 lateral quickness tendency wise for chris Stapp's 95 driving dunk tendency defensive tendencies you guys already know i don't have to tell you 98 across the board how many cars have 98 across the board as far as defensive tendencies are concerned 49 hall of famers for kp catch a shoot corner specialist relentless finisher rim protector chase artist box clamps heart crash interceptor intimidator moving truck rebound chaser post with lockdown ties better worm contact finisher hall of fame showtime quick first step on puck cool, dead eye flexible green machine hot zone hunter as well as range tyler shooter volume shooter and brick wall 16 on gold diamond pickpocket pig dodger consistent finishing deal third tight handle slippery off ball i would like to give him the ankle breaker badge stop and go space creator handles face slithery all those badges kind of playmaking badges are needed i think if you run chris stabs porzingis because here's the thing if you run kp probably going to be a cheese ball now if there's one shoe that i think fits kp it is the green uh the, the grinches that improve speed i think that shoe is is the best actually he can only get adidas shoes so the adidas shoe you're probably looking at anything that's going to improve the speed speed with ball those are probably the main two things for chris Stapps. Looking at Porzingis here in shootout, the first thing to kind of notice is, in my opinion, is he not running with the ball? Okay, he can't run with the basketball. Now, that's something to kind of just note, okay? Chris Stapps cannot run with the ball, so if you kind of want to use him as a primary ball handler, okay, there he's running. Yeah, he's not going to be able to run with the basketball. So that's the first thing I personally noticed. Now, obviously, with his dribble six, there's not going to be that many times unless, you know, you get a transition opportunity that you're going to be straight running and sprinting to the rim with Chris Stapps. Normally, probably, it's going to be a quick pick and pop, a couple of dribbles, but even in a pick and pop game, I mean, if he's deep enough, who knows? The jog animation is one of the worst things on current gen or like that little gallery animation i i can't stand it i hate that more than about anything and yeah he just has a problem running with the burst it's not that big of an issue and that's the big thing in the half court is you shouldn't really notice it that much but definitely is something to kind of keep note of and keep track of because let's say you get a steal in like you get a bump steal you're not going to be able to run up the court and get a dunk with chris Stapps because he's going to jog up the court so just kind of something to keep in the back of your mind chris Stapps is literally chicken though this release I'm a, I'm a fan of Bobo's release, and I'm a fan of Chris Stapps' release. It's the exact same release. So if you like Bobo's release, you're going to like KP's release. I was a fan of this release all year long, ever since Elgin Baylor came out. I've stuck up for it. Even when a lot of people don't like this release, a lot of people would rather have it. You know, set shot 14, whatever the case may be. This release is very, very solid. So between this release, between the fact that KP is 7'3", I think you got a lot of things to like. The jog animation is the one downfall so far. I see from Chris Stapps Porzingis. Looking at my opponent here, he's running Ron Harper, Ray Ray, Bailey Howell, Danny Ferry, and Julius Randle. The crazy part is Julius Randle is six foot eight. Yes, Chris Stapps Porzing Porzingis has seven inches on Julius Randle. Now, it's going to be interesting to see when Chris Stapps does get takeover, what take he has, because right now my coach is Nick Nurse. So that's just kind of the interesting thing about it is I don't know if I've ever ran Nick Nurse before. So that's just something to keep in the back of your mind is when I do get takeover, don't be surprised if it's something out of the ordinary. What is going on? All right. Now, I don't know why I'm trying to make plays with Carl Malone. Like I love Carl Malone on the defensive end. But I just don't know about him as a playmaker. Anything but glass, honestly. That's like the worst takeover for KP in my opinion, chill. Oh yeah, KP straight to the rim. And that's what I'm saying about like him not being able to run. With the burst in the game, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Your badges and stats, that should not even be possible. I'm just kind of confused right now. That shouldn't even be possible for somebody to do on you. Back up and watch the show, honestly. 
I don't know why you're pressing up into me. Just back up and watch the Chris Stapps Porzingis show. How in the world is he getting a contact dunk? That's the second contact dunk on your head. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say it's your fault because we all know what contacts are like on current gen. But, like, come on, 2K. Come on. Let's be better. Hey, there was kind of the jog animation you saw because I didn't get the burst animation. But still, coasting in for a one-handed jam. All right, so what we haven't done yet is we haven't gotten Chris Stapps to look. Now that Cat's in the game, I think we'll be able to here because I think he's going to pay too much attention to Mr. Ben. There it is. There it is, Chris Stapps. Oh, he didn't jump. That's fine. Why not? That's a good shot. I don't care if it's white. That's a good look. I'd have shot that with Bobo, and I'll shoot it with KP2. Imagine a front court of Chris Stapps and Bobo. Look, now we're starting to get glitchy if we start to think about that. Good, KP. Board. Oh, yeah. Look at the box by KP. You know, you know where I'm at. Ah. Oh, yeah, I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Ah, snatch for me. Can you green? Ho, ho, ho. Oh my Game goodness, giant. KP. You ain't got to do him like that. That is a snatch back three. Poor Carl Anthony Towns, my man. We got him up out of here. We saw Chris Stapps' full package in that short unlimited game, but the dude had, I think, 12 points, two rebounds, maybe an assist as well. The dude was hooping. Let's just see the release in Triple Threat Online because, I mean, the rest of KP, I'm not really too worried about, especially when we get him those playmaking badges. Looking at my opponent here, and I kind of feel bad. He's got James Donaldson, and he's going to be the one trying to defend KP. I mean, James Donaldson's not that bad of a defensive player to his credit, but his name is James Donaldson. Like... You can't guard KP, and that's just, that's, it just is what it is. He's not guarding Chris Stapps Porzingis, and it's just quite honestly that simple. KP, you know what? That should be green, Ty. It's my fault. It's slightly early. That's me. No way you just went up on KP. Like, there's just no way. Oh, yeah, Ant-Man. Come on. That's a great shot. I just did. I got a green. The first one was slightly early. That one was slightly late. And remember, right now, my Chris Stapps doesn't. He does not have ankle breaker. He doesn't have some of those playmaking badges that once you give him, he's going to get more separation, more space, that type of stuff. So, I mean, right now, you're just seeing it because of his height, how, you know, how effective it can be. But he doesn't got those playmaking badges yet. Green. He is so chicken. I, I mean, if you like Bobo, you're going to like Porzingis. That's really the, it's, that's what it is on the offensive end. I mean, that, that's just honestly... How it is for those two guys. Good D. Oh, you run. KP time. We're stopping. Chill. Back up, James. Why is James Donaldson even trying to defend me? I don't understand it. James, hey, man. There, there's a quit button, and you might as well use it right now because I don't know what either of us are getting out of this outside of a KP shoot around. Don't you through that. Now what? You. I thought he was going to try driving by me. That's a good shot. Credit where credit is due. Good shot, my man. Chill, back up. Ah, that's late. I could tell. That one's my fault. And that's the thing I like about Porzingis. It's like he can stop on a dime. I just, I'm liking what I'm seeing right now. You threw that. Come on, you're a baby in there. Like, the fact that he's 7'3", he's going to be able to punish smaller de defenders. And that's just, it is what it is. 7'3", cannot be taken for granted. Board. Oh, yeah. Glass cleaning take. Let's utilize it. Ah, KP. Ah. Can you just back up? Burst me. Burst me. Burst me. Hey, Chris Stapps slamming it down. I'm trying to get my team takeover. That's all I'm trying to do right now. What am I watching? What am I watching this dude do? What am I seeing? You know what I'm doing. Was there ever... I got a green it, though. Good shot, KP. That's got to be green. Slightly late again. Oh, straight to the cup. Back to KP. Can you just give me some space, some separation? Like, if he had ankle breaker, my word. He would be tough. Oh, that's me. There you go, Bam. That's what I'm talking about. Chicken. That one felt good, and that's chicken, man. Chris Stapps, Porzingis. The more shots he gets, the more comfortable I'm getting with this release. And again, if I'd run one of KP and Bobo, I'd run the other one right with them. Because if you can green with one, you're going to green with the other one. It's just honestly that simple. Uh-oh, quick stop. Chicken, man. I ran out of takeover right when I shot it. That's tough. You shot that, my board. 
Okay, bam. Now, see, all I gotta do is get on you, and then and then you start to play well. KP. Finish him. Green, that's my fault. Good shot, nonetheless. Final stats for KP. 22 points, one rebound, one steal, one block. All around, pretty solid game from KP. So when this Chris Stapps Porzingis card first got released, I just got angry that he wasn't an out-of-position KP. That's it. I got angry that he wasn't a shooting guard small forward, and I kind of judged him because of that. But here's my thing about Chris Stapps Porzingis. Now, hear me out uh, when, I, when I say this. Now, when you compare him to Pink Diamond Bull Bull, which I am going to do right now, I don't want to necessarily overstate this in, in, in any way, but let's look at Bull Bull here. And most Bull Bulls on the auction house are going to be juiced in some way, but just this straight up card, here's what I see. Is there one stat outside of Ball Handle that Bull Bull is going to be better at than Chris Stepp's Porzingis? I don't think so. The only thing about Bull Bull is he's skinnier, so on next gen, that does play an impact, but I think on current gen, as much as I want to make the debate that Bobo is better than Chris Stepps Porzingis, I just don't know if I can. I love Bobo with all my heart, but I just don't know if I can make that debate. Obviously, with the Pro 3 move on the back, that helps as well. And on next gen, like I said, Bobo might be better. But on current gen, I think KP has the advantage. If I'm you guys, I'm running Bobo at the 4 and Chris Stepps Porzingis at the 5. Forget Kareem, forget Wilt, forget Shaq pick up KP to run that center position. But that is going to wrap it up for the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Comment your thoughts on Chris Stapps Porzingis down below. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys and have a blessed day.